1985 was the year when Chicago had You're My Inspiration. It was the year when Cork celebrated 800 years. In January that year, the tribunal for the Kerry babies took place. In February, Archbishop Dermot Ryan died. On the 30th of May, 1985, Liverpool fans attacked the Juventus fans in the Hazel Stadium. It turned into a disaster and a tragedy. On the 1st of June, 65,000 people went to see Bruce Springsteen in Slane. And on the 24th of June, the first landing at Knock Airport took place. On the 29th of August, the world's youngest heart and lung transplant patient survived the operation. 1985 was also the year of the McGuigan Pedrosa fight at QPR in London. Here's Steve Collins. Since Vinty Monham became world champion back in 1947, almost 40 years passed before another Irishman could claim championship of the world. In June in 1985, in QPR's uh, football ground, Loftus Road, a young, fresh-faced Barry McGuigan took on the very experienced and very talented Eusebio Pedrosa for the World Featherweight Championship. It was a great fight. Personally, it was a big incentive for me in my boxing career. But more importantly, once again, Ireland could claim a new world champion. I hope you enjoyed the show. It was a cracking fight, and I look forward to seeing it again. But at least it's dry, and straight away Petroza flicks out a dangerous-looking left hand. Petroza, the taller of the two. Now it's expected that McGuigan will pressurise early in this fight. He's got punching power. He's got to make an impression on this box of tricks. Petroza. Petroza been there so many times, defended his title 19 times. Shows a nice move there with a left-hand jab. Petrosa certainly looks the bigger of the two. He's taller by more than two inches. McGuigan trying to get past him. Trying to get past that long left hand. Petrosa using the ring well. A chopping left hand from McGuigan. And the crowd cheer him on. Petrosa well built, well proportioned. McGuigan, who usually looks the taller, and some booing now for Petrosa. He seemed to use his head in clutch. Petrosa reckoned by many to be a dirty fighter. And close from holding. A long right hand from Petroza. Well balanced fighter, Petroza, who can punch from any angle. McGuigan, a good hard hitter. He's got to get into him now. Tries the left hand. He's short for that left hand. Leaves his own right hand down a bit low. Moves forward again. Petroza tries the left hand of the body. And certainly does plenty of action on this, the opening round. Pedroza backs away again. Flicks out. It's a fast left hand for Pedroza. McGuigan tries to sink that left hand to the body. Bob's underneath. Takes a right hand to the body. Pedroza again. Good left hand work from Pedroza. McGuigan, out of distance with that left hand, comes forward again. Tries to trap his man on the ropes. Pedroza slips away. McGuigan showing a lot of aggression in this opening round. But not getting his range great. Then he connects with a left hand. A good solid tricky left hand of the gym. Petrosa backs off again. Petrosa throws a right hand, a hard right hand of the body.
McGuigan is chasing him. And there's the end of the first round. And the lively first round. Barry McGuigan, Petroza. Eusebio Petroza defending his world title for the 20th time. McGuigan hurt him a little bit in that second round, but never really upset him. Petroza was with a certain amount of control with that long left hand. Sinks it into the body now. McGuigan has the punching power to begin maneuver himself into position. Flicks out the left hand, Petroza gets away from it. And again, the jabbing left hand of Petroza. Again, he slips away from those punches, doesn't really take the full force of them. Good right hand of Petroza. McGuigan still coming forward, runs into a left hand. Brings over a right, holding by Petroza. He's had a hold, particularly with his own left. On McGuigan's right hand when they come in close. McGuigan chasing him for all he's worth. He's got to catch him with a few good punches fairly early and try and slow this man up because he's fast. And he's dangerous. This is the third round. McGuigan still coming forward. And this one is a slippery customer. Slippery as a knee. He slips away from those punches. In close, a bit of swirling. McGuigan, McGuigan now concentrates on the body for a change. Brings in the left hand of the body, then the left hand of the hand. One, two good punches. That was a macro right hand from Petrosa. Petrosa now beginning to find his range in this round. He corners him, but still can't get a good crack with those short punches. But Wigan has to get in close land with those big ones that looked a good left hand from, from the book the Wigan brings up his gloves takes a lot of the power from those punches then flicks it a good left hand from the Wigan the closer tries to move inside the Wigan hurt him with that left hand I think and there's the bell for the end of the round. McGuigan finishes the round well. Looks the happier of the two, he goes back. Petroza, is there a slight bit of damage to his left eye? A little bit of damage there, but I don't think the skin is broken. And there's a slight swelling beneath the eye. And so to the seventh round. And I think this has got to go down as one of the great fights because so far it's been action all the way. McGuigan coming forward. Landing with good punches from time to time but Petroza always dangerous. Petroza, some lovely left hand work from Petroza. Petroza with a good variety of punches. Towering over McGuigan. McGuigan tries to move, maneuver his way in close. Well, we were told Petroza was something of a boxing master, and he certainly is. We were told to keep his punches up. But McGuigan has been coming forward. The 
richest professional fight in Europe. Well over a million pounds. This fight has cost. Has been televised live to America and throughout Europe. It's a good right hand from Petroza. Wigan slowing up the pace a little bit now in this round. Wigan again. Out of range with that right hand. Hooks with the left hand. Draws a back off. One, two good left hands. That's a tricky right hand, a beautiful right hand right on the button. Pedroza's in real trouble. Pedroza's in real trouble. He counts to eight, the standing count of eight, and McGuigan moves in for the kill. He flips it a left hand to the chin. And again, he nails it with the left hand. McGuigan moves forward once more. Pedroza's in trouble. He's calling on all his experience to stay out of trouble. Jabs out with the left hand. McGuigan again, brings in the right, misses with the left hand. Once more the left hand, a right hand. Pedroza fights back. Well, Pedroza did well to survive that. Almost knocked out. Will McGuigan ever get that chance again? Once again, McGuigan, out of the blow, crashed the right hand right on the chin, bounced off the ropes, and here from a different angle, he got right behind that right hand, got a lot of power into it. Well, it's a grueling fight, it's a hard fight, and this is the ninth round. Petroza haven't taken account in round seven, almost knocked out. And McGuigan dumped him on the floor with a right hand. Referee wants the punches kept up. Petroza with the reputation, a dirty fighter, but so far this has been a good clean fight and a hard fight. Referee keeping very tight control. The referee from South Africa, who has indeed refereed several of Petrosa's fights in the past. Petrosa scoring points almost continuously with that left hand and that one. Wigan trying to get through with the punching power. There's the left hand jab again. Almost continuously in his face now. In this round now. McGuigan is the one who's been setting the pace and putting on the pressure. Petroza. Having been down for a count, the seventh round. Is he getting back into this fight? Wigan tries the big one again. This is with the right. Connects with the left. A little bit too far back. the pattern of chasing his back. Sinks in a right hand of the body. And that's the spot where he caught him before and he catches him again with the right hand. Not quite as good as the last one but a good right hand nevertheless. Tries to maneuver him again. But also hits back. Well, 
Well, there's not an awful lot to separate these two great fighters. And it's living up to its expectation of a great fight. And he's caught him once more, he's hurt him. The trousers in trouble. He gets him with a right hand, a left hand. The trousers doesn't know where he is. And there's the bell. The bell had gone, sends it back to his corner. Pedroza in real trouble there. The bell sounded. Oh, what a warrior, this fellow Pedroza. He's taken McGuigan's best punches and he stays there. Here we see the action once again. In the ninth round. McGuigan caught him with that left hand. Chased after him for all he was worth. And still Pedroza stayed on his feet. Round 13. World featherweight title fight, Barry McGuigan for Ireland and Eusebio Petroza from Panama, champion for the last seven years, defending his title for the 20th time. Barry McGuigan, his first taste of world championship boxing. Petroza has been champion for the last seven years. Boxing getting a little bit untidy now. Referee speaks sternly to Barry McGuigan. He wants cleaner boxing. That's a good clean left hand from Petroza. Petroza down for a count in round seven and again in round nine. Almost knocked out. But he slipped away from Barry McGuigan and he's fighting his way back into this fight now. Wigan tries to nail him again with that big right hand. The awkward style of Petroza. Petroza is certainly going to give up the title very easily. Wigan tries the right hand to the body. And there's that bolo pass, uppercut, from Petroza. And Petroza now putting a bit of sparkle into his boxing. Although he's backing off, he still scores fairly well. Well, the pace has slowed up somewhat, but it's still a grueling contest. The earlier part, it certainly didn't look as if it was going to go on this long. Particularly when McGuigan connected in the seventh round. But now, here we are in round 13. McGuigan, a big right hand. Did he catch him properly? I think he did. Petroza's not too happy. He's holding on. He's caught with a left hand to the chin for good measure. And McGuigan is going for him like a tiger. But Petroza, once again, hits back. Holds on for all he's worth. The left hand from McGuigan. Pedroza looks over to his corner as if to say, what am I to do? He holds on. McGuigan chasing after him in this round 13. Champion Pedroza in real trouble again. And there's the bell for the end of the round. And once again, he slips away from the devastating punches of Barry McGuigan. He's taken some hard punches from McGuigan. We see there now, McGuigan cut him first with the right hand. And for a second or two, I wasn't sure whether it had hurt him, but it certainly did hurt him. And Petroza was in real trouble. And it's a miracle how he survived. And so to the 14th round. And McGuigan is chasing after his man. McGuigan has done everything asked of him, but he just can't finish this off. Apologies from McGuigan there. A little over-anxious. 
each time Pedroza was in trouble in this fight so far he was able to recover and come back into the fight can he do it this time and this is quite a fight remember been judged by two judges and a referee difficult to know what way they're going to mark this one because Pedroza in a lot of the earlier rounds scored freely scored well the rounds that McGuigan won he won remarkably well and he hurt the player. But when there is a doubt, the usual procedure with these judges is that they favor the champion. So McGuigan has got to really be impressive and win this very clearly. That's why we all hoped he'd stop his man inside the distance. Now he's only got one more round after this. But McGuigan by this stage must surely be in front on points or certainly level. McGuigan chases him again. Again, that right hand of Petros as he fights back. All the hard work, all the hard training. Buddy McGuigan is tied off, and there's a right hand, a good, solid right hand. Petrosa takes it well. Petrosa again on the defensive. Again, clicking out the left hand. McGuigan looking for an opening, trying to loop in that left hand. I'm sure McGuigan, on several occasions in this fight, has wondered what am I to do to put this man away? Because he's hit him with some great punches. Well, there's Petros again with a long left. It's coming to the end. There's only four minutes left. And we'll know whether McGuigan is going to be the new world champion or not. Three minutes of boxing left. And this is the last round. <laughs> Referee brings them out. They touch gloves and away they go. There's only three minutes left. With Barry McGuigan pressurizing his man all the way through, he must surely be given this fight on points. Bit of holding by Petroza. But Petroza has shown some great tricks in boxing. It's been a good fight. Holding by Petroza. And the people who've traveled here from all over Ireland to see this fight, they certainly are glad. And I'm sure they'll tell you it's been worth the million pounds that's been spent on it. The richest fight in Europe for this featherweight title are we going to see a new champion in Barry McGuigan here we are in the last round Catch with the right hand good left hand certainly the crowd will be very disappointed if McGuigan doesn't get the title here crashes in the left to the body tries the left hand and again, Petrosa takes the punches. Well, McGregor has had to fight every inch of the way in this fight. And his punching power is still there in this last round. He's staying the pace well. First time I were to go 15 rounds of boxing. It urged on by 25,000 people, I saw here. And I'm sure many, 
viewing television, urging him on for this the last round for his world title fight with Petroza, the champion of seven years, the man who's defended his title 19 times, and at this, his 20th defense, how are we going to see the Cyclones and Jonas take the title? Wiggins still looking for the opening for the big punch. Petroza spoiling. McGuigan the left hand, a good right hand from McGuigan. And again a right hand and there's the bell. And now we have to await the result. Well, Ladies we, and gentlemen, yes, here it comes this now, I think. is the result. A unanimous decision. Barry McWiggan has been here. Yes, don't worry.